Hello guys, this is an update to my uh, Stickman tutorial. Because of uh, Blender 4.0, there are some changes in Rigin and in Rigify, and things don't work as they should if you downloaded the rig that I put for 3.6. If you just want to use the rig as it is, I uploaded a version for Blender 4.0 that is on my Gumroad for $3. If you want to buy it to support the channel, you can go ahead and do it. You will find two versions, one for 3.6, and earlier and one for 4.0 so i'm using here the latest version the 4.0.2 with the latest bug updates and we will fix the rig we get our rig armature the rigify armature and we get our meta rig here the armature that is hidden from which we generated this rigify rig so we hide the rigify rig and we unhide our original armature we should go here and go to the bone collections here so this is new we had layers before and now we have bone collections we delete this group here to be safe and then we go down and we get this this meta rig requires upgrading to bone collections and we have this button here upgrade meta rig but when we click we get an error here so what we will do is to expand this custom properties section here and then we go here under uh, rigify layers and we hit this x to remove this and now the button changed from upgrade to regenerate rig. And now if we click, we get a new error. No bone collections have UI buttons assigned. Please check the bone collections UI sub panel. So after a little messing around, I found how to fix this error. So we need to go up and create new collections. One, two, we name the first FK for forward kinematics and the second one tweak. So these bone collections will include some bones and we also have some buttons to enable and disable these collections of bones. And then we go down again and we find bone collection UI. And here we select one of the collections and go here to UI layout, click to assign the button here. So we hit this arrow and we got this button here for FK. And then we select the other collection. And again, we go to this arrow, we click on it again and we have now two buttons. This is what the error message meant, I guess, by no UI buttons assigned to our bone collection UI. I guess now we have our buttons. And now before we try to generate or regenerate our rig, we will go to the bone properties. We select our meta rig. We go to pose mode, control tab, and we select one of the bones that have, what are they called? So we go down here. Yes, we have the rig type, limbs arm. And here, if you scroll, you get a warning message, I guess. Use the plus button to add list entries. So here we need to hit this plus button here and add one of the collections. Here we have assign FK collection. It means assign a collection for FK bones or forward kinematics bones. We left click and we select FK, our FK collection. If you find that this is disabled, you need to enable it. I thought that by disabling them, the error message would go and I could generate my rig or regenerate it, but it didn't go. So you need to have them enabled and then you click on the plus button and you add your collection. So here it's assigned tweak collections and we have our tweak collection here. Then we select this bone and we do the same same plus plus here fk and here tweak and then we do the same for the legs we start with this bone again plus plus fk here tweak here the other bone plus plus fk here tweak here now this one for the spine and we have only one here instead of two only the tweak collections we enable this and then plus and then we select tweak and the last one is the head and for the head there is no collections neither for tweak or for fk of course we try to generate our rig by going again here to object data properties to here regenerate rig boom and it worked now we can hide our armature again Yes, you see the buttons here. These are the buttons that we created FK. If you click on it, you can hide the FK bones and then tweak. You can hide these balls here that are the tweak bones. And this one is for the root bone and it was created automatically. I don't know why they didn't just made some kind of script to generate these collections and these buttons automatically. Maybe it is something that gives more power to the user to create maybe more collections and more custom buttons. But this is our updated rig. I'm putting this file on Gumroad for $3 and if you followed the previous tutorial of course you can update it if you are using of course blender 4.0 thank you for watching see you in another video and peace